Number four, we can glorify God by our entire life consecrating to God. Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, For you have been bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. In the whole being as a body, we can glorify God. The thing that we think from our head, the things that we see, the words that we speak, the thoughts that come in our heart, the work that we do in our hands, the food that we eat, the places we go, from head to toe, in our whole body, we have to glorify God. And that's what it says. Number four, we can glorify God by our entire, by entire consecration of this body. Number five, we can glorify God by relying on His promises. God is pleased when we cling to His words and believe and trust in His word. Miracles will take place in our life when we trust His word and, and lay on His promises. Talking about Abraham, you know, God said He want to give him a child. Even in his old age, the Bible said that he was so faithful in the promises that God has given to him. Romans chapter 4 verse 20 it says, Yet with respect to the promise of God, he did not waver in unbelief, but grew stronger in faith, giving glory to God. Abraham never wavered in the promise. He never had a wavering faith regarding God and his promises. And that's why God named him. And we call him father of faith. Number six, we can glorify God by praising him. He is always worthy to be praised. God is pleased with our praises. Psalm 7, 50 verse 23 says, He who offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. So when we offer a, a sacrifice of thanksgiving, thanking God for everything that he has done to us, instead of grumbling and crying over the, the, the difficulties that we come across, sit down, relax, and list down the promises God has given to us, and list down the blessings that he has showered upon us, there will be more reason to praise Him than to sit down and grumble. God says we can honor Him, we can glorify Him by praising Him from morning till evening for His crucifixion, for His blood, for His promise that He is going to come, up, come, back, come back and take us home with Him. We have many reasons to praise God. Number seven, we can glorify God in all our doings and dealings, all that we do. Let it be eating or drinking. Let it be our fellowship, our gathering. Let it be our friendship, or whatever it may be. In all our doings and dealings, we can glorify God. Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, Whether then ye eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Everything that we do, we have to do it to the glory of God. And number eight, we can glorify God by confessing Christ. Bible says, when we confess about God to the fellow me, uh, being, when we confess what the Lord has done, good thing in our life to others around us, God is faithful that He will confess us before the throne of God. Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 verse 11, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to glory of God the Father. A day will come, everybody will confess that Jesus is the Lord. And even today, God wants us to confess Jesus Christ is God and He is Lord and Lord forevermore. And this is why the angel of the Lord said, Fear Him and give Him glory. Angel said, Give God glory because man's glory is temporary, it has been given by God, and it, is, it will pass away and we will be tempted by glorifying human being, our self-glorification. And that's why God said, the angel said, give him glory. There are a number of reasons why we have to give him glory. Because he's God, he's holy, he's faithful, he's the deliverer, he's the judge, he's the provider, he for his wondrous work. For all these reasons, the angel of the Lord said, give him glory. And number three, the shepherds, the angels, Mary 
and everyone they gave glory, multitudes, they glorified God. And that's why the angel said, give him glory. And number four, yes, there is punishment when we fail to give glory. We don't want, we, the angel don't want us to die. God don't want us to die. God wants us to be with him. Those who, those who give God own glory, when he comes, will be resurrected back to life and will be with him forever and that's why the Lord said the angel said give him glory how to give glory in our whole being by fruit bearing by the good works and all the good things we saw and that's why the angel said give him glory my dear child of God I'm sure this must be a good lesson for us because the angel said give God glory if in your life, if in my life, I have failed to give glory to God, or in any situation, I have done self-glorification, or glorified man, instead of glorifying God, God wants us today in the first angel message, give him glory. You have to give God glory. I have to give God alone the glory. And then there is blessing that we will be with God, and we will inherit his kingdom, and we will be with him happy for years together so today as you have been listening to me as you're listening to the warning message would you like to join with me and pray asking god lord forgive us for we have committed mistake in our past life not giving glory to you at times i have come across self-glorification forgetting you in all my upcoming in all the blessings that i've got all the richness that I'm having now. Lord, it's from your hand and you got blessed. Help me to be glorified. Help me to glorify you at all times, Lord. And if you would join with me, asking God, Lord, help us to glorify you. God is more pleased and he will listen to our humble prayer. Shall we close our eyes and pray together? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for the warning message. Give him glory. The angel made it very clear. Yes, Lord, man's glory is temporary. Lord, you are worthy to be glorified. We saw the reason. Heavenly Father, the angels and everyone they glorified from the scripture we saw. And there is punishment when we fail to glorify you. But Lord, you expect us from head to toe to glorify you. Let you be alone glorified in our lives, Lord. Thanks for all blessings. It's because of you we have been blessed. Bless the sister, brother, who is listening to this. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I'm sure when you give God alone the glory, God is pleased. When you give God alone glory, then we are abiding to the warning message. And only who give God alone the glory will worship the God who created the heaven and the earth, the sea and the springs of water, the essence of the first angel message. So to keep the Sabbath, you need to glorify God. And only those who glorify God will keep the Sabbath. May God bless you and bless your generation. Amen.